Hello, my name is Doug Schmidt, and I'd like to welcome you to my course on Pattern-Oriented Software Architecture for Concurrent and Network Software. Concurrent software can simultaneously run multiple computations that potentially interact with each other. Network software defines protocols that enables computing devices to exchange messages and perform services remotely. Since the early 1990s, my colleagues and I have been researching, developing, and applying open source, concurrent, and network software written in C++, Java, and C. The software that we've developed has been used by thousands of projects around the world, often for mission-critical, distributed real-time and embedded systems, where the right answer delivered too late becomes the wrong answer. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to share with you many of the methods, techniques, and tools that we've learned and devised over the years to help you become a more effective software professional. The topics covered in this course are timely, since the advent of multi-core and distributed core processors, coupled with ubiquitous wireline and wireless connectivity, is increasing the demand for researchers and practitioners who understand how to successfully develop and deploy concurrent and network software. Ironically, however, despite continuous improvements in processors and networks over the past four decades, developing quality concurrent and network software remains frustratingly hard. Moreover, developing quality reusable concurrent and network software is even harder. The principles, methods, and skills required to develop such software can be greatly enhanced by understanding how to create and apply patterns, and frameworks. A pattern describes a reusable solution to a common problem that arises within a particular context. When related patterns are woven together, they form so-called pattern languages that provide a vocabulary and a process for the orderly resolution of software development problems. A framework is an integrated set of software components that collaborate to provide a reusable architecture for a family of related applications. Frameworks can also be viewed as concrete realizations of pattern languages that facilitate direct reuse of detailed design and source code. This course describes how to apply patterns and frameworks to alleviate many accidental and inherent complexities associated with developing and deploying concurrent and network software. The patterns and frameworks that we'll cover in this course have been used successfully in many domains, including telecom and datacom, mobile devices, electronic medical imaging, network management, aerospace, aviation, and automation, as well as online gaming, web services, and financial systems. Over the next coming weeks and months, I'll illustrate by example how patterns and frameworks simplify and enhance the development of concurrent and network software via the use of object-oriented design concepts and notations, such as encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism, extensibility, and the unified modeling language, UML. Object-oriented programming language features, such as classes, inheritance, dynamic binding, and parameterized types that are available in popular programming languages, such as C++, Java, and C Sharp. Middleware, which is reusable infrastructure software that resides between the applications and the underlying operating systems, networks, and hardware that encapsulates heterogeneity and enables control over key end-to-end -end quality of service properties, such as dependability and security. And finally, operating system mechanisms, such as local and remote inter-process communication, multi-processing, multi-threading, synchronization, and dynamic linking. We'll explore case studies from multiple domains, including mobile applications, web servers, object request brokers, and avionics control systems to showcase time-proven pattern-oriented design and programming techniques for concurrent and network software. I look forward to interacting with you over the next several months to help you become a master software developer and successfully apply patterns and frameworks in your own work, just like we do here at Vanderbilt University. You'll not only become more productive, but you'll also have a lot more fun at the same time. 
So now, let's get on with the course.